and welcome to your gold market update for Friday the 26th of August. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Gold Markets here to end the week and look at what is going to be a very interesting 24 hours. Let's look at what's come across the news. We saw a second day on the spin where US equities managed to finish with gains before the Fed policy clarity that we're hoping to get from the Jerome Powell speech as part of the Jackson Hole Symposium. Then this is despite some hawkish comments from Fed members over the last 24 hours and certainly sentiment was helped by some positive jobs and GDP numbers out of the US last night. US futures are near neutral in Asian session as markets return to a place of caution. The Asian indices have risen fairly well across the board following that US lead. The ASX is up around 0.7% in early trading and US and European futures also suggest a slightly positive open. US dollar index has paused near 20 years highs. Not a massive amount of move in the FX space today so far. Uh, gold is trading within a short term range between 1740 and 1765. And we've just seen a little pullback following oil's up move for the majority of the week. And copper is testing resistance at 370, looks quite strong. The VIX is remaining under that key 25 level and looks as though it might test short term support at around about 22. Bitcoin continues to hold 21,000 support. And of course, the story of the day is going to be the Jackson Hole Symposium speech by Jerome Powell. Coming across the wires around about 8 p.m. Perth time, 10 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, about an hour or so before the market opens. And as always, what's likely to happen is that speech is going to be released to the markets as he begins to speak. Today, Japanese CPI was a little warmer than expected. And we have got some US PCE numbers due later. Friday trading could be interesting. Not only is it the end of the week and we'll see some repositioning going on, but also, of course, that big news later. So we may see some caution uh, towards the back end of the Asian session and in the European session prior to that speech. A couple of charts have caught our eye today. And we're checking out Fortescue Metals in the ASX. We've been tinkering with this 200 moving average that you see here around about $19. We have a strong mover today. Uh, and looks as though we might be ready to test the next level. If we just put it on a line chart just for some clarity, uh, you can see there's been quite a lot of previous price action around this 1950 area, which we're testing this morning. So a push above that could see us move up significantly, uh, possibly up back towards 21, uh, providing uh, the speech tonight doesn't influence risk on assets. So that's a move of potentially around about 65 to 7%. In the FX front, as we said, very little action this morning, but we do like the Swiss Yen. I've got an hourly chart here, which shows that there is some resistance at 142, which has been in place for the last three days and was a key price point around about the 17th and 18th of August and the 12th of August as well. So it looks as though we're pushing out of this short term range, potentially still a little bit of work to do around about 16 pips up to that 142 level, but a potential move upwards of around about 35 to 40 pips if this continues. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.